Welcome to a component review for Province Deluxe. We'll be comparing the original game with a prototype of the new game. So the original version will be a production copy, whereas this one is just a prototype. So some of the components are approximations of the final intended version, and I'll go over that as we cover this. So on the right here, we have the new board. Uh, it is obviously much larger than the production copy for the original game. Um, if we were to pick this up and say place it on here, um, the rondelle for the new game is actually uh, significantly bigger than the, the entire board for the original game. So that's a pretty big difference. Next, we're gonna look at the lender coin. Uh, as you can see, the lender coin for the original game is extremely small. Um, all, the, all of the tokens, uh, the coins are reasonably tiny um, to maintain its sort of ultra portability, uh, which made it very easy to distribute, um, but maybe a little fiddly to play with. The new lender token is obviously bigger, it's a different shape, so it's actually much easier to sort of identify from the rest of the tokens. Uh, and as you can see with all of the coins here, uh, the, the text has been made a little darker, so it's easier to read at a glance. Uh, the original Meeple tokens uh, for the, the game were just that, they were tokens uh, with little images of Meeples on them. Uh, and then on the back, you can see they just had a little dark thing to indicate that you move them. In the new version, uh, we have these actual Meeples, uh, 16 millimeter doodads. Um, as you can see, they're significantly bigger. They are bigger than the actual token of the original Meeple. Uh, and in the new game, instead of flipping them over, since you can't do that with a Meeple, you just place it on its side to indicate that you've moved it. Next, we have the coins. So there are three denominations of coin in Province, uh, one, five, and ten. Uh, in the prototype for Province Deluxe, the five coin's actually too small, uh, and the one coin's actually a little bit off as well. Uh, the manufacturer for the prototype uh, did not have the exact sizes that we were using, so um, they just used the closest that they had. The 10 coin is the actual size, um, whereas, as you can see here, again, the 10 coin for the original game is pretty small comparatively, and even the 1 coin, which is super, it's actually hard to pick up, super tiny little guy, um, and that is a really small coin. Um, so now it's a little easier to handle money while you're shuffling tokens around during the game with the, the new components. Um, we're pretty happy with the change on that one. Uh, moving forward, another change between the uh, original game and the new game. Um, as you can see, in the original game there were these little tokens that you would shake in your hand and then toss, and then um, you'd end up with, uh, so you have black and white, and that would mean, oh well, now I can get a sailor uh, if I spend three coin. In the new game you just roll a die. Um, it evens out the odds a little. We decided we wanted that to be a little more um, more likely that you could get sailors in this game, so it's just the odds are even now. Um, <laughs> the odds are even, there you go. Um, so now uh, you get two of each icon and you just roll this. This is not the kind of die you're getting. The prototype, we're just using a sticker die for the purposes of being easy to produce for a prototype. The final die is going to be a wooden die um, with uh, screen printed icons on it. Next we have the uh, structure tokens. So we have an original blue structure token here. And if you can just lay that on top, as you can see, it's a pretty significant difference. These are uh, these are as big as the uh, gosh, pretty much everything for the original game. There there isn't a component that's as big as the new structure token. So they're they're much easier to place now. Um, just the whole board, the whole game state is just much more readable at a glance. So as you can see, those are obviously much bigger. Uh, and then we have the goals. The original gold tokens, again, are, are pretty uh, pretty tiny, uh, like all the little bits. Um, we have a, a little standard goal here. It's back. Um, and then we have the new goal, which is the biggest component in the game. Um, it's much more substantial, so when you lay those down during the game, um, you, can, you can either do them in a stack or just lay them out in a grid above the board. Uh, it looks really nice. Uh, and then finally, in the original game, the labor tracker was this little dial doodad and you just place this on here because people ask for labor tracker and you rotate it how much labor you have uh, in the new game we're going to include wooden cubes it just has a little more of a euro feel going on rather than having the sort of fiddly dial and there you go that's all of the components for the original game and now i will show you a setup of both games uh, just to give you a general sense of how the games look when set up for play so here we have a setup for province deluxe edition as well as the original version of province as you can see the original version is Pretty small. Uh, it is. It feels a lot like a pocket game in comparison, uh, especially now that we have this sort of larger version. Uh, as I handle both, of, as I set this game up, I should say, 
Um, it was just much easier for me to get this going, like stacking uh, these tokens for the houses was actually pretty annoying. Um, picking up the single coins is, is, is definitely pretty fiddly. Um, so like, you know, picking up these things and moving them and it's, it, it, it's a great game and it, this is an excellent pocket travel game. Um, it, it, it feels, it is a game I have in my bag all the time and it's great. Um, on the other hand, I am really glad that this version, uh, will exist soon, or at least we hope it will. Um, it, it, it feels like a standard, like two player board game. Uh, this doesn't feel like a two player board game. This is just a really impressively small cool little game um, and this feels like a very solid two-player board game uh, that you might pick up from something like the Cosmos line or uh, any of those where you just have like a really excellent game balance for two players. So say you wanted to play the original game with say someone who's much older or who doesn't have perfect eyesight, the original game is, is kind of a nightmare um, in the, for those people just because it is so small and there's a lot of tiny text it's actually pretty hard to read. Whereas with the new game it's it's because it feels more like a standard board game it's going to be much more accessible to people who have uh, either some sort of physical handicap or some sort of uh, seeing disability. Um, with these I don't have to really like worry about you know, nudging things around. There's plenty of room for all the worker tokens. Um, the tokens are more easily discernible about which one is which. Um, so when I'm staring at the game state, it's easier for me to pick up on what's going on. Um, the cubes are less fiddly for tracking complex labor turns uh, than say this, uh, the, the, the original tracker wheel, which was a good solution at the time and worked for the constraints of the project, but is maybe not the most like Euro feeling thing. Whereas like more wood components just feels a lot nicer. Um, so overall, as you can see, just they, they don't quite feel the same. They're, they're different. Uh, when you're playing them, they feel different. Um, and you get the new board on this guy. So we're really happy with this new edition. Um, we're, not, we're not neglecting the old version because we think there's anything wrong with it. It's, it's a great game. Uh, and we're really happy to sort of be able to come back and look at it and say like, all right, well, if we wanted to do this as a full size game, what would it be? Um, people are pretty used to people taking sort of a larger game and then making it small. Um, but uh, in, in this case, we're just doing the opposite and taking the small game and then making it big again. Um, so yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any more questions about any of the components or if you'd like to see anything in any more detail, by all means, please ask. Uh, we will do our best to update this uh, or at least address any concerns and comments so we can post some specific photos and updates.